Hello there, he's Oliver Phelps. And he's James Phelps, and we played Fred and George Weasley in the Harry Potter films. And today, we've been learning all about coding with Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit. So and very well, I need to it. interrupt you there. Very good. Well, yes, and right now we're in playground mode where you can just, it's basically like a sketchbook. You can make whatever you want using all the coding and JavaScript language. So right now we are creating our own code. So we've now set up in the background of the room of requirement. And what's cool is that we're just about to add some sound. So I've selected on speaker loop there, and then let's uh, add the music. So we click on one, turn it into music. And what are you in the mood for? A bit of guitar. Guitar, so I'm going to click on guitar loop. Add it to there, and now when Oliver moves the wand up, it should stop. But then if you move the wand down, the music speeds up. See? Ooh, and now we're going to get some teacups in. Oh no, teeth, ears, teacups. Okay, I'm just going to change that. Right, there we go, percussion. See? It's good, this. So let's get some more objects in this room. So we've got expendable ears and chattering teeth. We've set it so that when you move it left, the extendable ears come on. When you set it right, the chattering teeth come. Yes. And all the different movements and noises that come with that. But you can even change those noises. So okay. let's change the extendable ear when okay. that comes on to a firework explosion. So give that a try. Hear it? Yes. Or even a funny little whistle. Okay, so I want you to try and shrink those. Okay, so, and then this is with the spell that you've put in it already? Yep. Okay. There you go. See how they've all shrunk? Yeah, reducio. And then make them grow. Is... There we ah. go. Twice as big. Okay, so I'm going to save this now, great name, to Cano World. Now, Cano World is an online community where you can save your own creations. And then you can actually jump in, see someone else's, edit it yourself, and then make it into whatever you want to be. And it's also a better way to learn how coding goes together from other people's ideas. See, I've got the bludger, I can keep that going. I'm going to do some coding. So at the moment, you've just got a couple of bludgers dropping down on you. So I'm going to change this to puking pastels. Add a random number from there. Change it to every two frames as opposed to every two seconds. And then we're going to change it to 500. And you're being crushed by giant puking pastels. Mm, not enough, but look at the JavaScript on that. What's funny though is at the start of the day, I wouldn't have known what any of this meant, but now you can even... Objects.add. It makes sense. About 400 times that comes to Yeah, brilliant. Okay, and now I'm going to save that to Cano World as Oliver's puking extravaganza. So in a nutshell, that is Harry Potter Cano Coding Kit, which has, to me, totally explained how coding, or JavaScript, works. I mean, it's just that much simpler to me now, only a couple of hours later than when we started, that I've got a real understanding on how not just computers work, but apps, video games, pretty much everything we use in our daily lives. With that being said, I want to have a look at some more stuff. So guys, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it and you've learned some things yourself. He's been Oliver Phelps. And he's still James Phelps. See you later.